all right i'm gonna make a quick little video um pretty much if i see something useful for unity i'm just gonna you know make a quick little video about it you know last time i did a uh, the right click places and that was mainly because i found this little article on omg ubuntu about it and ever since i added it i use it all the time it's very very useful and um again they they also have another article and it's about the uh searching you know websites through your dash or lens and in gnome 3 they have this feature and basically if you google something like if you want to do a google search like funny right at the very bottom you have an option of uh, wikipedia or google and you just click either one and it does a little search for you with unity it does search the web but i can't figure out if you can do a google search or not so basically if i want to look for something i gotta look for the actual website so if i want to look for funny it has to be like you know funny.com i guess so dot com and it should take me to the website and not really a google search and that's the functionality I kind of wish I had in Unity is to be able to do a quick little Google search through the dash. So with the OMG, they have this little uh, tutorial here. So I'm just going to go ahead and you know give it a go. I haven't done it yet, so I'm just going to do it right now. So uh, pretty much you have to add a PPA. And adding PPAs, it's not exactly the most straightforward thing in the world to do. But it's not really the hardest thing to do, you know. So pretty much you got to copy this line without the quotes right here. Just the bold lettering copy now open up your software center it takes a couple seconds I'm recording so now go to uh, I believe it's edit software sources and type your password now go to I believe it's other software right here this little tab now click add and paste the line that you copied into here click add source now click close it's going to take a little bit but basically it's just going to it's going to redo uh it's going to download you know the, the information it needs in order for you to uh you know uh you know add the software so it's going to do it right now it's updating right now so let me just go back here for a second I wouldn't even offer a one-click install. This is after you add this, so I'm gonna go ahead and give that a shot. If you don't, if you don't have this option, just uh, just uh, type the name of the software into the software so into the uh, software center. You should be able to uh, find it. And I'm not too sure what it's called. Oh, here it is. Web Source Lens. Okay. So that's the name of the application. Okay, it's done. Let me close that. Let me try this uh, one-click installer right now. Click install. OK. Click OK. And I guess either my Synaptic or Software Center should open. OK, there it goes. Come on. My poor computer, it's so old. Come on. There it goes, install. All right, so, you know, give your password. And uh, it says, hold on one second. It says you're gonna need to log out and log back in, you know, for it to take effect. So, I'm gonna go ahead and give my password, you know. I'm gonna let it do its thing and uh, I'm gonna stop the video right now so I can log out and log back in. So pretty much it's just, it's gonna install. So all right. all right. I wonder if it messed up. Try it again. Fail to download packages. Huh. All right. Maybe just another bug. Well, oh, there it goes again. All right, I'm just going to log out and see what happens. All right, I had a problem with that, a one-click install. Well, you know, it's not a really a one-click install. You know, it, you add your uh, PPA, then you click the button, and when you click that button, 
you know it installs a program for you you know but it doesn't it didn't work for me for whatever reason all right and uh for me the way i got around around it well if it works for you you know great but it didn't work for me so so what i had to do was uh type uh unity dash web dash replace not replace place i'm sorry in your uh, synaptic package manager and uh, this will pop up market for installation they hit apply and you know this worked for me you know i just logged down logged back in and uh that was that so if you're having that problem you know you can you can still install it so anyways so when you log out and log in you get this little icon down here and it pretty much it just stays down here you can't move it up here okay it, it's always down here so you click on it and you just search for whatever so i'm going to try uh gimp right there's a wikipedia so let's try that there it goes a little wikipedia search i guess let's try something else so come down here again and click on it one more time let's try ubuntu let's try uh, what is this ubuntu let's try this there it goes their home page so it's not really a google search it's mainly just i guess websites that are related to it so let's try uh, what I do before funny. All right, funny jokes, funny and jokes. Let's see five more results. Every joke, list of funny jokes, two funny jokes. Yahoo, about funny. Let's try, uh, what if you add like a something else to it like YouTube all right let's click on YouTube here see what this does funny videos so yeah it does kinda work I mean for what it does I do like it okay so it's a good little add-on you know I kinda wish they had it by default but what I, I kind of don't like about it is the fact that it's way down here. <laughs> you know what I mean? It'd be kind of cool if it was integrated. Let me like you hit, hit the uh, window key or super key and it was in here somewhere. You know what I mean? But it's not. So other than that, you know, I like it. So uh, if you have any questions about it, feel free to ask. And uh, see you later.